Do Filipinos hate Americans? This is interesting because I was on some of these expats viral things the other day. This is a problem with YouTube is you randomly end up on channels that you originally look for one subject and then you go, okay, what's that video? What's that? And then you just continue and end up in these random locations. First thing I want to say is I don't think any country blames Americans for problems. They blame America. They're, they're two very different things. So as an expat in the Philippines, people don't blame you and never will, you know, because these guys, these survivalists want to be saying, well, when the economic world collapses and we're going to do this, do that, and everybody's going to hate us because it's all our fault, blah, blah. No, they won't, because at the end of the day, you're just a person and the average person in these countries is a person they understand they have economic problems in their own countries they have corruption there so yours is exactly the same you know it's a bit like um, when you go to the Philippines you complain about all oh, the corruption here corruption there but if somebody does it in your country you're like okay stop moaning at me about it um, <laughs> Because it's, it's the reverse. Because in the Philippines, people are just like, don't tell me about it. I already know it's corrupt. And then you, when you're there in the US, and they're going, oh, this is this. Or you're like, don't tell me about it. I'm not interested. It's the same thing. They, they don't blame you. They don't blame me. They don't blame anybody. But the government um, and corporations these days seem to be the government. I'm sure they'll be wearing branded shirts, you know, the, you know, like the um, racing racing drivers, you know, they'll have all these different logos on who owns the politician for, well, US, UK, Europe, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't worry about it. I've never had anybody say, we hate Americans in the Philippines. Where you will see stuff is when there is aircraft carriers and stuff being brought in the Philippines because there's an anti-American foreign policy thing there. They don't want other countries bringing arms into their country. They don't want other armies entering their land. And that's the same for anybody. I'm sure the US would be the same if you started having uh, different troops coming to your country. UK would be the same. Um, it's all about sovereignty and false sense of identity um, but the, the whole point is they don't blame you and I just want to make this very clear because these survivalist guys assuming that you know economic collapse they'll be burning all the Americans and blame it. I don't think so the only places that really happens is probably in the Middle East and even then most of the time people have evacuated well ahead of the problems occurring but even there it's normally the embassies. They they generally aren't looking for Joe blogs that wears T-shirts and only earns a thousand dollars a month or something. The the you're not important, and I think this is where a lot of people get confused because this is where things separate. You know, if you're important, then there'd be an interest, but we're not. Let's be honest, we're not important. We we are just a cog in the wheel. So as such. People aren't really interested. You know, where I would be concerned on these expat lives as such in a apocalyptic financial crisis world is if you're earning this is your dollar and this is where an economic dollar could collapse, um, it could be worth a thousand dollars, let's just call it 50 bags of rice. So it's just, just humor me. But then tomorrow it's worth 20. That's where you have a problem because you need to increase your income because your currency has become worthless overnight. Which at the moment is looking like things are changing slightly because Russia is starting this bartering system because um, it's trying to remove the reliance on the dollar for trade. And I think it will be re um, well received by India and other countries. Um, which will affect the dollar in some form because obviously they don't need shed loads of dollars to trade in anymore because they're going to go, I want oil, I've got grain, 
we'll swap those two, we'll swap this, we'll swap that, they put a value on the actual stocks themselves and remove currency from it. Um, it's a bit like the gold standard issues which is another thing relating to the Middle East and instability because I know there's been mentions relating to Saddam Hussein wanted the gold standard, it's gold standard, and so did um, oh, what's his name, Gaddafi, and obviously both their governments were overthrown, which sort of puts question marks, especially in the same groups as the people that are worried about well, what happens when economic collapse does happen. Um, I wouldn't say it would happen. What I would say is I can see a decrease in the value of the dollar over the next few years purely because Russia's manipulating it a bit. The US and the UK are building up debt like no tomorrow. The EU is in the same state. Um, the UK doesn't produce anything as well, that sort of thing. I, it produces money. It's not producing anything that's real. It's. It, it's all hidden in the housing market and financial sector. All this debt stacked up, stacked up by the, a ridiculous amount. Um, if that bubble burst, the UK would collapse without a doubt, um, simply because there is no economy. There is no real economy. They've got rid of the factories, got rid of manufacturing. They've got rid of pretty much anything that, even the farming, is reduced to a stupid level. The UK cannot support itself. Um, so on that sense it could be a big problem. Um, that's why I put a question mark on that. But the US has natural resources, it's a vast country, even if it went through a, a bad transition I believe it would still be able to sustain itself. Things like the fracking for its energy and the vast areas for food it's got stuff it can sell to the rest of the world even if it stopped buying so much stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.